हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग अमेजिंग सो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एट अराइजर टैलेंट एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद अवर क्लास टेंथ फिज केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर दैट इज अबाउट द मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स सो इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव अ डिस्कशन अबाउट सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल एंड नॉन मेटल एंड वी हैव गोन थ्रू द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मेटल नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स क्लियर सो द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल सो मेटल इज गोइंग टू शो द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट केमिकल बिहेवियर विथ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स so firstly metal is going to react with oxygen then we will see the reaction of metal with water then metal of uh, reaction of the metal with different different acids and how the metal is going to react with the salt solution but one thing you have to keep in your mind that the metals are having the valence electron in their outermost shell if they are having the valence electron they can easily donate that electron and form the electro positive element here so the tendency of the metal to lose electron make it capable to perform different type of the reaction here so first one is reaction with oxygen second one is reaction with water third reaction is reaction with dilute acids and the fourth part is reaction with salt solution so these are the topics that we are going to cover in the today's lecture about the metal the first reaction is reaction with oxygen second is reaction with water third one is reaction with dilute acids and the fourth one is reaction with salt solution so we will see the different different reactions and different different behavior of the metal in all these reactions so let's let's start with our first reaction that is reaction with oxygen so metals are going to react with oxygen and they are going to form the metallic oxide but different metal have a different tendency to react with the oxygen some will going to react with oxygen at the room temperature some will need a air to react with them some will need a prolonged heating and some will need a very strong heating so all the metals do not react equally with the oxygen at the room temperature they are going to require different different condition for forming their oxides clear so the first part is reaction with oxygen so we are starting our first part that is reaction with oxygen whenever a metal is going to react with oxygen it is forming metal oxide metal whenever react with oxygen it is going to form metal oxide so this is the very simple fundamental we are using here that metal whenever react with oxygen it is going to form metallic oxide so firstly we will see the reaction of sodium potassium and calcium so sodium potassium and calcium is going to react with oxygen at a room temperature and they are going to form the oxide so what will be the reactions there so the first reaction will be reaction with sodium potassium and calcium so symbol for sodium is na 
and for oxygen symbol is O2. So, it is going to form sodium oxide. Clear? Second condition is reaction with potassium. Whenever potassium is reacted with oxygen, it is going to form potassium oxide. Third reaction is whenever a calcium is going to react with oxygen, it is going to form calcium oxide. So, 2 Ca plus O2 will give you 2 CaO. So, you can see that these all reactions are going to occur only at a room temperature. So, simple ox uh, room at room temperature, they are going to react with oxide oxygen and they are forming their corresponding oxides. The second part is reaction of magnesium. The second one is reaction with magnesium. Reaction with magnesium is not a simple process. Actually, it is not occurring at the room temperature. You need to provide air for reaction with oxygen, reaction with magnesium. So, whenever magnesium is going to react with O2, it is not occurring at room temperature. You have to heat that substance and it is going to form 2 MgO. So, reaction with magnesium is bit different from rest of the metals. Now, some of the metals are like that, they will require a strong heating for the reaction with oxygen. So, the third metal which will need a strong heating will be zinc in this case. So, the third reaction is reaction with zinc. Third reaction is reaction with zinc. So, in case of reaction with zinc, it will require a strong heating to form zinc oxide. So, whenever a zinc is going to react with oxygen, the reaction I am writing here, zinc when react with O2, it is going to form zinc oxide. This is the reaction here. But you can see that it is not going to occur at a room temperature. You will need to provide it a strong heating. In the presence of strong heating, it is going to form zinc oxide here. Clear? So, this is the three reactions we have seen. Now, the fourth reaction are like that, they will need a very strong heating. In the presence of very strong heating, they are going to form their oxide. But if I am considering the zinc, you will need a prolonged heating in this case. You will need a prolonged heating. Clear? So, in case of prolonged heating, it is going to form its oxide. So, the last reaction is with reaction that are needed a strong heating. So, the fourth part is this. Fourth part we can write here. The fourth part is about reaction with copper and iron. So, whenever a copper and iron is going to react with O2, they will need a very, very strong heating. Clear? So, Fe and I am assuming copper here, Cu, it is O2 and it is O2. When iron and copper is going to react with oxygen, they will form Fe second or third oxide and it is also going to form copper second and third oxide. So, whenever iron and copper is going to react with oxygen, they are going to form iron and copper oxide depending upon whether they are forming the copper second oxide or third oxide. But what they needed? They will needed a strong heating. So, in the reaction of metal with oxygen, some will going to react at a room temperature, some is going to react in the presence of air, some will need a heating and some will need a very strong heating. So, these are the reactions that we have seen regarding metal. Now, the second part is reaction with water. So, for this, just copy this from here. Next one is 
reaction with water. Second part is reaction with water. Whenever any metal is going to react with water, it will definitely form the hydroxide. So just learn a simple fundamental whenever metal is going to react with water it will form metal hydroxide it is going to form metal hydroxide now we will learn how the different metal is going to show different different behavior with different different condition some metals are like that they are going to react with cold water some metals are like that they are going to react with hot water and some will be like that that they will going to react with the steam so you have the different different cases in which you can see that different metal will go to show you the different behavior clear so first case we are considering here is all about reaction with cold water so the first reaction will be reaction with cold water So in case of reaction with cold water, you can see that some metal is going to react with the cold water and these metal are sodium, potassium, magnesium. These are the first few metals which is, which is going to react with cold water and they will form their corresponding hydroxide. So if I am assuming sodium here, sodium when react with water, it is going to form sodium hydroxide. Magnesium when react with water, it is going to form magnesium hydroxide. Potassium when react with water, it is going to form potassium hydroxide. So this is some of the reactions that is going to take place in the condition of cold water. Now, the next part is reaction with hot water. Some of the metals are like that, they will show reaction only in the presence of hot water. So the second part is reaction with hot water. So we will see the different reactions with different different cases here. So the first part is about reaction with cold water then we will discuss about reaction with hot water and the reaction with steam so we are starting our part that whenever a metal is going to react with water it is definitely forming the metal hydroxide so the first part is reaction with hot water Whenever a metal is going to react with hot water, the reaction takes place vigorously and hydrogen is going to liberate in the solution. So few metals are like this, they will show you the behavior with only hot water. If I am considering sodium, if I am considering potassium, if I am considering calcium, whenever they are going to react with water, this is hot water. Sorry, this is cold water we have. First case is cold water. Clear? So they will going to form their corresponding hydroxide and what will happen the hydrogen gas is going to be liberated in the solution. If potassium is reacted with water it will form potassium hydroxide and again hydrogen gas is liberated in the solution. The third part is when calcium is going to react with water 
it will form calcium hydroxide and again hydrogen is going to be liberated in the solution. So you can see that these are few of the reactions which can take place only when you are taking the cold water. Now, second case is reaction with hot water. Second part is reaction with hot water. Whenever any reaction is going to take place with the hot water, you have to take a boiling water in this case. So, magnesium is the metal which is going to react only when there is a boiling water. So, the reaction for the magnesium will be Mg plus H2O, this is boiling water and it is going to form magnesium hydroxide in this case. So, you have to remember that magnesium is going to react only with the boiling water. This water we have taken is boiling water. Next case, few of the metals are like this, they are going to react only with the steam. Whenever you pass the steam through them, they will going to form their corresponding hydroxide. So, the third case will be reaction with steam. Third case is reaction with steam. So, in case of steam, there are few metals which are going to show reaction R and these metal are our zinc and aluminium. Zinc and aluminium will going to show reaction only with the steam. So, whenever a zinc or aluminium is passed through steam, they are going to form zinc hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide. Clear? So, aluminium hydroxide and zinc hydroxide is only formed whenever you pass the steam through them. This is steam. So, you can see that we have seen a three cases up to this level. One with the cold water. This is cold water. This is boiling water and the third one is steam. Whenever you are going to pass the steam, this is ALOH3. This is 3 because aluminium is going to form the third hydroxide. Now, some of the metals are like this. Whenever you pass a very, very hot steam uh, through them, they are going to form hydroxide. And there is only one single case that is about the iron. Clear? So, the fourth case is reaction with very hot steam. Extremely hot steam. When an extremely hot steam is going to pass through an iron, you will get the iron hydroxide in this case. Suppose I am taking Fe here and you are passing the steam through it, then you will able to get the iron hydroxide that is ferrous or ferric hydroxide. So, this is only one exceptional case which is occurring at a very very hot steam case. So, in case of water, you have seen that we have basically four cases that is one with the cold water, one with the hot water one with a steam and you can see that in case of iron on a very very red hot coke you have just passed the hot steam. So, you are getting the iron hydroxide in this case. Now, we are moving to the third category that is reaction with dilute acids. These two topics we have completed till now. Now, we are moving to third case that is reaction with dilute acids.